What's up, Cochran here. Make a little video upgrading the RV. I always said I don't really need solar because alternators charge my battery up. We usually just drive and we just stop to sleep overnight, take off again. But finally ordered a lithium battery. Hopefully, I can use the air conditioner at night. The main reason is I'm always just nervous about bugging people with my generator. So I didn't turn it on when anybody else is around at all. But right here, I'm installing the LIBIM. I was going to do DC DC charger, but this is more simple for sure. Yeah, I'm almost annoyed because this is a 300 amp solenoid. I uh, kids run the AC all the time when we're driving, so this has got a lot of electricity going through it. We burnt the other one out on the way to Alaska, so I just got in here and wired it across, and when we'd stop at night, I'd unwire it. And then I bought this, but uh. People like echoing on the internet. You're gonna burn your alternator up, but it's people just repeating the same thing all the time. I did see a couple people actually do some testing. The alternator didn't really draw that much, but I don't know. This is simpler and then at least I'll have something. But I did order some $50 solar panels nine 100 watt ones i pulled it out of the package when it showed up because they're cheap and pointed at the sun at 10 a.m and i was getting a little over 100 watts so that's good i was worried about that everything i got's as cheap as you can get it the battery's supposed to show up tomorrow i'll show you around a little bit mid install this is my inverter I did it as soon as we got the RV last summer before we went to Alaska. And it's never gotten really too hot in here. Like I said, they run the AC all the time when we're driving. I uh, planned I could stick a little fan with thermostat on here. There's some uh, USB here, just a USB fan. And Christy always sits up there and she always cold and if it shoots some hot air, that'll be good. But well, this has never got too hot to run. I got everything taped up because the dirt daubers everything up same thing my ac put new tow sock ac in and come out here and turned it on it wasn't working dirt dauber nest everywhere in there kept the fan from spinning but uh got taped these to the roof so i got four brackets on the side but i'm gonna run a piece of angle front and back of all of them i got some nut certs to put in there screw them on the front and back and after i got them on here I thought, you know what, I'll just take this antenna off. I could fit another solar panel right here. Then I'd had an even thousand. That'd been nice. My uh, inverter has the screen right here. I think I'm going to move it up here. It's been there for a year, but uh, this is here when I got it. It has some kind of a thermometer for outside but it's never been on i got a 59 dollar shunt i'm gonna put it on here so i can read what's going on with my battery and then put that inverter thing right there that should be good i kept thinking i would do my uh solar mpptz over here charge controllers somewhere I kept trying to find a spot couldn't find anything so boom and this, I got 10 gauge coming into these. I got dual, five of them one, four on the other. I got four gauge going down. I just got me a ground. This one runs to the front over to the battery. Another thing is when I burn up my other converter, I ordered a cheap one on Amazon. When it showed up, it said lithium on it, but uh, it doesn't have a lithium charge setting. It just has a constant. You can set the constant 14.5 out. That's what people, some do, people do when they charge in lithium. But I didn't really want that. I wanted to actually have uh, some kind of parameters for lithium. So I looked online, 68 bucks on Amazon. It does have a setting for lithium. So what I'm gonna do, I have a transfer switch in here. My uh, converter, this one's gonna be on the power, shore power leg or the generator leg. That's how it is now. So when you run off the inverter, the converter's not on, but there's also a plug on the back of this. That's where the converter was plugged in. I'm going to put the old one plugged into here and just leave it off. 
and then I can have two 45 amp chargers. And if we're on shore power, or if we could just turn the generator on, not, not run the air conditioner, we can ro run both converters to charge the lithium battery up faster. It's a 600 amp hour battery. It fits perfectly in my tray underneath. That's why I had to get it. It's like, it's the same size as my tray. So hopefully it'll go, do good. This uh, Tosot air conditioner, sometimes it runs like 800, thousand watts my other one was always like 1300 watts so that's good it doesn't have an easy start on it but probably not important because my generator will run the converter and that when the compressor kicks in it's strong enough anyway the convert the easy start for that's 119 dollars and i don't think it's necessary it's real simple easy install on that one it's got three wires on it so battery shows up tomorrow and we'll get it installed show you all my other little tools I ordered watch too many YouTube videos so I got this little thing to crimp my ends on got the heat guns heat shrinking them on there they look nice here's my ground for the solar look at that look at it so I got some four gauge wire running up into there the other one I'm gonna run around here and connect on the battery side of the post of that battery isolator so let's bolt them together there so it just seems real tedious and kind of annoying because there's just so many tiny little things you got to run and do all the time but just keep working and it ends up getting done Tadal has arrived 100 pounds of glory I'm gonna put it under there. Battery trays right there. Pull that one down. I it had smaller bolts. I uh, cut the heads off, drilled it out. I added bigger bolts because I had two more batteries as soon as I got the RV. Alright, there we go. I got it out. This thing fits perfectly in this tray. So when I started seeing them selling those, I was like, it's just made for it. They come with this. I don't know if it's a. I thought it was 150 amp hour, but maybe 100, 120, something like that. Uh, AGM. I went to Walmart and got two of these $89, 100 amp hour, group 24s, added to it. I have a bunch of extra lead cables laying around the garage, so I just put a bunch of extra stuff on there. Uh, so we're going to swap her out for the 600 amp hour lithium. Do it. Yeah. Just turn the car on. It's running like 30 amps off the converter here. When the battery isolated manager clicked on, it jumped up to 100. So it's pulling like 70 amps out of the alternator. I didn't know it'd really pull that much. But I mean, it's kind of good. It's 220 amp alternator. After a second, I turned it on. It went back down to about 90, so it decreased a little bit. It didn't change much when I revved it up either. I just plugged the solar into the MPPTs, so I'm going to pull up out of the shade and then see what we get with that. The battery's supposed to come 30 to 50% charged. It's been on here for a couple hours. I'm just on the 30 amps from the 45 amp converter. It's been running like 30, 35 amps off of it. I uh, clicked the second converter on just a second ago before I started the car. I thought I was recording. It jumped up to 60 amps, so that's another 30 with it. That worked good. I turned the AC off when I did that because uh, I'm on a 15 amp plug here at the house. I'm going to turn the inverter off so we're not pulling the load and then pull up in the sun, get some solar going, plug it back in, have this converter going, see if we can get her uh, charged up to 100%. Then you hold this button down and it'll change the setting to 100 percent so you can monitor your battery it uh it's added 87 amp hours a couple hours on the little converter so i unplugged the converter and still pulling 85 amps out of the alternator i just pulled up in the sun i think it takes just a second to calculate it's all automatic it was pulling like down here's like pulls like 850 or watts 
when the compressor's kicked in, but it only pulls 60 whenever it kicks off. It had like eight hours running full time, full power. This is about a thousand watts on here was. The other stuff that was on, so it had eight hours. The compressor kicked in. And the compressor kicks off, which would be part of the time. Hardly use any electricity. Sweet. Here's my MPPTs. I got four panels on this right now, five on this one. 500 watt, 400 watt. Really full and quite a bit less. They're flat mounted. This one's doing 20 amps most of the time, 14 volts. This one's doing 17.3. They went down a little bit because so I just clicked on my second converter just to see on the generator if it would run it. You can hear it put a strain on it. So it might pop off if the compressor kicks on the AC. The AC's going right now, but yeah, it probably wouldn't be able to do that. But putting like right at 100 amps in there now. Two converters, two solar chargers. I ordered one more solar panel, so I have 500 for each controller. Turn the AC off and the generator off just to see what the panels showed on here. They're putting in like 560 watts. There's a little bit of draw on other stuff in the battery, so it's a little more than that total. That's the sum of what's going in and out. It's going in 560 watts right now. Let's turn them off for a second to see. It's morning time. We got 42% battery left. Running the AC all night. We only got it up to 94% last night. It takes forever to charge a big battery. Did get a little humid in here with five of us breathing, but it stayed cool. We drained our big battery. It's taken all day to charge back up. AC last night. Our AC didn't make it all night. We still got like 29% battery this morning. It's good. Here's what I ended up with. I need a little PVC board. Hair dam. I wasn't doing the back, so we already cut it by having you. Ten hundred watt panels and puts out about five hundred and fifty watts total. <laughs> you can get a little over six hundred sometimes. At the lake, piecing together all these videos. It's kind of a jumbled mess. Brought the boys out here fishing for a little bit. I had a bite a second ago and took off running out there. My pole was bouncing, but nothing's on it. Probably have to change the bait out. I'm gonna show off this LNEX battery monitor. It's amazing, it's like magic. It's weird how they can do that. There's a little piece that connects to the negative side of the battery and everything runs into it. And there's a cord goes to this and it tells you how much is going in or out all the time. The battery's awesome, it does make it all night. Those last few clips showed with the air conditioner on. The solar panel, it's supposed to be a thousand watt solar panels, but I mean, you expect it to be a little less. They're also not pointing right at the sun, but I've seen it on this go over 600 watts going in. And that's with a little bit of stuff coming out too. That's the sum of everything going in and out. It shows you right here. So that's okay. There you go.